hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel teamy tv um i was literally just waiting for this rough edit to load and it was taking forever so i was like oh my god let me just film something and then as soon as i press record it loaded so i'm just gonna continue um so today i said i was gonna make a youtube video about couples that hate each other um uh, and do I even want to make a YouTube video about that? I don't really know. Like, I'm not in a couple, so I don't know. I know, but some couples do actually hate each other. Like, why do you stay together if you don't like each other? But then people are scared of being alone. That's the thing. And do you know, actually, let me talk about this one thing because I basically realised this last night. Um... And if you guys have been watching my YouTube videos and me just telling some crap about my life, what is life? Um, I realised yesterday that I do not deal with pain well at all. I never have. I've never dealt with pain well at all. Like, as in, well, I mean, like, healthily. Like, I can be in pain and just keep it to myself. But that's not healthy. And instead of like sitting with the pain and addressing the pain, I would like, you know, take substances, um, become delusional, um, just try and make something different to what it was because that was a coping mechanism that I learned from childhood. And also because of the dynamics me and my family have, it's a bit dysfunctional. So it's like, or living in the same house and then something's happened and you still have to continue living with them. So it's like I developed that kind of mentality of like pretending like things aren't happening or like things didn't affect me or impact me. And I literally deeped it yesterday when I was like lying in bed and I was like, oh my God god like this is why I act like a crazy person especially in relationships so yes I will actually talk about people in relationships that hate each other because I have definitely been in situationships not relationships I've never been in one of those I don't think I wouldn't address the reasons probably why but maybe I will in this section anyway um yeah, in the situationships I've been in, like, a lot of the time I don't even like the person that... Is there someone in the house? <gasps> so anyway, a lot of the time I don't even like the... A lot of the time I don't even like the person that much. But what I don't want to deal with is the pain of me feeling like I wasn't enough for them or, you know feeling inadequate or less than or feeling like you know I wasn't good enough basically that's what the pain is and it's the pain of like feeling abandoned rejected uh disappointed that's what I don't want to deal with and that forced me to become such a crazy person and be like lying to myself and lying to other people so easy peasy saying I love you I'm in love and like winding myself up like that and today when I woke up I was like today is such a beautiful day it's such a good day when we got my tea like today is such a beautiful day because I woke up and the clouds have been removed from my eyes and it's like Venus retrograde is over as well so maybe that was that was what it was trying to teach me and it's so crazy because like someone that I had like a bit of a situationship with the other day and not the other day like three years ago actually <laughs> um unblocked me on Instagram and I was like, you know, I'm a bit obsessive, like I'm a bit like, I've got a bit of an obsessive personality sometimes, so I always check if people have unblocked me, and or if they've blocked me and stuff like that, because I just think, why would you do that, even though I'm the queen of blocking people, as soon as someone pisses me off, blocker, blocker, blocker. Um, but I checked and they had unblocked me, I thought, oh my god, this is my time, and I think I was drunk at the time as well, so I messaged them. And we were having a bit of a back and forth and I just like, 
it was like the other day, it was their birthday the other day actually, and like I sent them a happy birthday message and they didn't reply fast enough to me. And then I just started sending them angry voice notes like, what the fuck? Reply to me now, da 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 da, which I unsent because it was on Instagram, so. <laughs> and then I just thought, Timmy, what is wrong with you? What is even wrong with you? Do you even like this person? And you're like acting so crazy, like what is it? So I had to really sit with myself and think about what is going on in your brain. Because there's loads of things that I admire about this person, don't get me wrong, but I don't like them. Like I don't, I'm not attracted to them like that. And I feel like I've done that so many times where it's like, I'm not even that attracted to you, but I've developed this idea in my head and I'm just running with it because it's the easiest thing to do rather than face the truth of, I don't really like you and you don't really like me. And I think that the struggle of me accepting that I don't really like you makes me feel like I'm a bad person or like I'm, I think I there's something there to explore of like, maybe it's that people pleasing kind of thing, wanting everyone to like you and wanting to love everyone and wanting to just be a good person and like fuck that shit um well loads of people know I'm, I can be a horrible person so clearly I don't care that much but I think in certain things especially if I see something in a person that I really admire I'm like oh my god I like you but I'm not really liking them am I because if I can recognize it in them then it's something that I hold within me and clearly it's something that I'm just like I don't want to give myself the props for in my own heart of hearts. But that's what I realised this last night, actually. And I had... What kind of dreams did I have? I can't even remember. Um, mm, oh, yeah, I can remember, actually. They were great dreams. Um, I had a lot of dreams about Chinese food. And do you know what's the funny thing? Like, obviously, I'm on a journey to trying to lose some weight this year or this over the next three months Chinese food is my comfort food like I'm blaming my mum for that one because anytime like, right, let's just get Chinese something bad happens let's just get Chinese or I'm gonna buy Chinese so it to me it just feels like a comfort food like if anything goes wrong I just need a Chinese not anymore not any fucking more like I can't do it so basically the dream was I was in the sauna eating Chinese. That's how you just know something's wrong. Like look at how chubby my cheeks are. Oh, I hope she means the modeling thing. I was thinking, I don't want to pick up your phone call you tramp. I'm hanging up. I don't know who people think they are in this life, sending me fucking text messages and then trying to call me. <laughs> Get out. Anyway. I don't like picking up the phone. And also... Also, I just think, like... Yeah, there's just... Yeah, I'm just realising loads of things. And just, again, because I haven't, like my whole 26 years of life I have not processed pain properly it's like stuck in random places in my body like in my belly definitely oh my god stop texting me you fucking munter um stuck in my belly in like my hips my hips are always so like in pain or so like stiff and this is what I'm gonna work on and this is just my video diary of it. Like, my YouTube's changed so much. It went from talking about the world to talking about my life to now I'm on a journey, which is fun. But I just find it like a creative outlet, a creative expression to the world. And I have no expectations for it, apart from the fact that one day I could look back and be like, oh my God, this is who I used to be. And look at how much I've changed. Um, so yeah, look at that armpit. That is so cute. Hello. <laughs> you gotta go. Oh. oh my god, I've got these pictures of me at work and I could 100% be pregnant. I could 100% be, 100 be a pregnant DOP at work. Mm -mm -mm. 
Anyway, I've got to go because I need to do um, some things. I need to do some work. But it was lovely catching up with you guys. Oh, actually, should I just round off about why I think people stay in relationships with, with people that they don't like? I think it's because a lot of the time we like to lie to ourselves. And... Yeah, sometimes it's just easier to lie. It's easier to be dishonest. And I saw this tweet actually the other day of this astrologer that I follow. She was like, you can't be angry at like people who are alcoholics when they lie to you about if they're drinking because they lie to themselves constantly about like why they drink, how much they drink, when they're going to stop drinking. And it's so true because I've been an alcoholic before and it's just like you lie to yourself constantly about the pain that you're feeling because pain a lot of the time it comes with a lot of shame it comes with a lot of like really stressful and depressing truths that you have to kind of face and face up to and that can be really really hard especially if you're someone like myself who's quite an emotional person and I feel things really deeply like even me going back to the fact that I'm like it makes me feel sad when I feel like I can't love people, I don't love people, because naturally that's who I am, I love to love, like, and it's, it feels like a disappointment when things don't work out in a way where we're still on a frequency of love, or everyone's on a good page of, like, loving each other, and, like, it's a good frequency, it feels like such a disappointment to me, it feels like something that I have to do to rectify and to work on, when that's not the truth at all, like some things they just don't, like life's not all love and light, and sometimes these situations are there to be like a lesson, and you know, a lesson is love, but it just looks different, it's not the ha ha kissy kissy lovey 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 dovey, um, so yeah, and back on to why people stay yeah because it's hard it is hard to move on it's hard to let go of things especially oh so many people are texting me i'm overstimulated um yeah people stay in these relationships because it's like it's the pattern of what you're used to and if you don't have a self-awareness if you're not quite conscious about the life that you live the part that you play etc etc you know it's hard for you to figure out how you're going to stop doing the same things over and over again like even look at me all of these things that I'm talking about like addiction getting into silly relationships with people, feeling like so hard done by by relationships and um, finding it so hard to let go of them. All of these things I've been like since like day dot, like I remember the first boy I ever really felt like I loved in primary school. I found it so hard to get over him. Like I was even still obsessed when I was in secondary school. His mum used to work at my secondary school and you know, all of these things are like programs that I learned from my childhood and the things that occurred in my childhood that sometimes it's like those bits that I've learned, okay, that comes from there. What am I going to do about it? I don't really know. It's hard. I, I don't want to think about this thing that is the reason why I'm like this. I'm just going to do some drugs. I'm just going to drink some more. I'm just going to get into another stupid relationship. Just so I can feel something that's not pain. <laughs> and it's not acceptance. So yeah. It's taken me a long time. And even look at how long I've been like, doing YouTube. Even though it's not that long. It's like coming up to four years I think. And it feels as though like. been preaching the word of this that and the other and I'm only really like just implementing it myself like it's like really bringing it to fruition in my life myself like I feel so hopeful about the next couple of years of my life because I actually finally feel like I've got my shit together in my brain like I never thought I'd ever give up smoking weed ever 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 in my life and one day it just kind of happened like I just couldn't really get my hands on it anymore I didn't have any ways to really do that well I could have if I really was desperate to find it um a lot of my relationships that revolved were quite codependent dis disapparated 
even actually to, they just changed as well because even some of my non-codependent relationships where people still smoke weed I'm still in good relations with them I just don't smoke weed with them that's it and yeah in terms of like session in I, it's only when I'm in the mood <laughs> but even then like I'm rarely ever in the mood and after I'm in the mood, you really stop being in the mood after if you realise how much fucking money you've spent on fucking having your jaw shaking and feeling like <laughs> not sleeping. Oh my god, my teeth look yellow. I'm just gonna say it's because of the way the light is hitting them. Anyway, yeah, that's all I have to say. I've talked for 15 minutes. I hope you've enjoyed what I've had to say. Um... If you can relate, let me know down below. And welcome to my September of content. <laughs> okay, bye.